Hello, this is Greg from Camnetics. I'd like to show you how to create a set of bevel gears using GearTech and create those models in SolidWorks. So I have a set of bevel gears specified. Let me tell you a little bit about those. The first one is a 19 tooth. The second one is a 40 tooth. I am using the Camnetics True Spiral for each of these gears. The, um, it's a Gleason Standard. I'm using 16 sketches to create each of the two loft, loft cuts. And let's see, the spiral angle is 35 degrees. And also on the set, uh, on the pinion and just the pinion, I have some crowning, a full radial, and it is a 10 thousandths of an inch of drop. So to create these, let's go to the CAD, create CAD models. I'll have these selected to create the models and assembly and we will overwrite any models and the assembly. So hit the create button and let's watch it happen in SolidWorks. Oh, well, it's creating the loft or the, um, the base revolve and now it's creating the 16 sketches for the tooth cut on the pinion. It's lofting the cut and making a pattern of it. And now it's starting the base revolve for the, the gear and going straight into making the loft cuts sketches. Now it's lofting it and making the pattern. And then it's going into the assembly. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, front view of that. Let me get rid of some things here. Get rid of the sketches. And then I also want to set the, um, the units here to millimeters. Okay, now let's go to the interference detection and see what we have here. So it looks like we have one interference that's 11 thousandths of a millimeter. And we rotate these a little bit and run the interference detection again. And this time no interference. Again, calculate. So we have the eleven thousandths again there. So that's one set. So if we look at the top view, maybe we can spot that tooth crowning. Uh, sketch here, maybe. Yeah, you can see it's slightly narrower at the outside of the gear, thickest here and then a little thinner here on the inside. So there we have it. One set of bevel gears in SolidWorks using GearTech. Thank you.